this stage carry a rocket of a new design with foolproof precision controls put the satellite into its computed orbit. That cryptic announcement from a Moscow broadcast, coupled with reference to new sources of power, pinpoint Russia's second Earth satellite, transmitting the now familiar beep beep. But this time, listening posts are recording signals from a satellite weighing about a half ton against the 184 pounds of the first Sputnik. Also, Sputnik number two is 1056 miles out in space, nearly double the altitude of the pioneer man-made moon, which, by the way, is still up there after 500 circuits of the globe, its radio dead. As we all know, Sputnik number two also has a passenger, a dog, a living creature far in outer space for the first time, making global circuits at nearly 18,000 miles an hour. In Russia, there appeared to be differences over the life expectancy of the dog inside an air-conditioned space cabin. In the United States, the headquarters in Washington for Operation Vanguard is picking up the signals of Sputnik II. From coast to coast, scientists are alerted. Here, 100 antennas at Stanford University in California can track the satellite even after its transmitter gives out. Meanwhile, the signals are bright and clear. And apparent, too, as the whole world follows the new Sputnik, is the fact that the super missile race is on in earnest. For the launching of the heavier Mutnik, as they've nicknamed it, means Russia probably has an operational intercontinental ballistic missile. Next on Russia's space timetable could be a rocket landing on the moon. They're letting the world guess while Mutnik zooms along. 